Okay, I think this one can go pretty quickly. Let me see what's in the library. Ah, we're back to the faces here in the library. And let me test it. We got our faces, but now if I click, it removes them. And this is also from the action script, from the learning action script book. So um, let me go to the code. And if I can find it, here's the code. Yeah, and the code is pretty similar to the example from the book. So let's see here. We start off with our increment and variable set to zero. We have the event listener going on with our stage. And each time you click on the stage, then it runs the function on click. Okay, that's understandable. Whoops. Where's my actions? There we go. All right. Uh, we have a loop. Each time we go through the loop, we run the function called add symbols. We add three symbols to the stage. And this is really similar to what I went through before, so I'm not going to go through it in detail. I will spare you. Okay, so we add those on. So now we have three. So here's the magic for this one. The stage add event listener has a click and runs that on click. So let's go look at on click. So each time we click, it runs this function. It's really simple. We just remove the child at zero. So it removes the child at zero, and then like a stack of cards, it moves all the other cards down. So the one right above it, now, which was at one before, now becomes zero. And then each time you click, it just moves the stack of cards down once, one. So let me test it again. And here we have our stack of cards. This is zero, one, two, three. Okay, that's the Z index order. I click. Now that zero one is gone. This is now zero. Okay, now this is zero and this is one. Now this is zero. 